Hello Uniplot community, welcome to this set of video dealing with formula generation. In the first video, we will deal with simple formula generation using the formula interpreter, then how to use a simple placeholder, and finally how to use two placeholders for complicated compu computation. In a second video, we will deal with multi-line formula, which allows you to make conditional formula. And then in a third video, we will create alternative formula and import formulas from Excel to ease your work at formula generation. Let's start. So let's start with a simple formula. I will import a file. So if you have looked at our previous video, you should know already how to do that. I will select one file that I can use here. Okay, here we have our file in the data brother. I will go to the edit window and look for a formula for which I would like to compute some information. So I have those channel, which I will show you the preview. And for this channel, I would like to compute the absolute value. To compute a formula, as a reminder, you right click on the yellow area, then add edit formula channel. Once it's done, you have this window that you normally already know how to use, but we'll go for a reminder. So I will look for my channel once again through this channel selection window. I will select the label and I will, as I want to compute the absolute value, I will add the apps uh, suffix and then I will look for the absolute value in the function drop-down menu. So I have to go and look a little bit around here and I can see apps C, which tells you the syntax for the formula. I will take the name of my channel and place it here. Okay, so this is my first formula. If you have a, a doubt on how to use a function, do not hesitate to go to the help documentation where all the functions are defined. And you can see here our apps C calculates the absolute value of C. Okay, then if you want, and if it has a meaning for you, you can choose to have your final formula computed in the international system units. Okay, so here, for example, the units were microsecond. I will add absolute value of my formula just to give some information. And I can choose to register the formula channel so that whenever I open a new file with the same channel, the formula is computed again. So for the moment, I will select it. Okay, and I can see that my channel has been computed and I get properly the absolute value. So that's done. Now, as you saw, we have four channels like this one. Let me show you. We have zero, one, two, three, four. I don't want to compute manually the absolute value for every channel. So I will select, so I will no, erase everything. And I will use what is called a placeholder. All the information again is available in the documentation. If you go there, defining formula, you will see how to properly use a placeholder. But for today, I will show you. So you have to put this symbol then you put your formula once again so it was absolute value and then i add my channel but instead of leaving the index i will replace it by the placeholder and now the magic happens i just created one formula but the formula has been created four times oh and my bad i forgot to add the apps underscore but okay, it has been created and I have my absolute value for all my channels. So this is how you create a formula with, with one placeholder. Now let's make it a bit more complicated. I want to use two placeholders because it's possible. So 
we start with the same base, but I want to multiply the absolute value by a time information that I have in my file. So I will look for it. The time channel in our case is called DP time. And you see that I have four of them. So I will select one. I will put another placeholder. And then my formula will now be like this. And now let's see what happened when I do that. I will call it apps time. And now you can see that I have several number of formula created with the number of the placeholder. So this is for the first channel and this is for the time channel. And you can see that all the channels are being created as I want it. This was Adrian speaking. Thank you for your time. Any question, do not hesitate to write at support at uniplot.de where our team of experts will answer all your questions. Thanks.